I hoard them like a little dragon hoarding my treasure. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. I have my Unboxing Monthly Madness for the month of July. And it is July 17th today. I was able to get my boxes and film this pretty early because I, I was gonna say, I didn't technically quit Ipsy. I put it on hold for like, I don't remember how many months. Was it like three months or six months? I put it on hold. I was going to quit it and then, you know, you know, that when you try to quit things, they're like, no, don't quit it. You can just put it on hold. And I was swindled. I was like, fine, sure. You know what? And that's actually what we did with cable. <laughs> Long, I'm going off on a tangent. I'm really good at that. But we got rid of cable by, you know, going, putting it on hold for like a year because they didn't let us quit cable until we did that. It, it was funny, but anyways, I realized that after having quit cable for a year of, and just watching like Netflix and Hulu and every all the other subscriptions, um, which now should just be combined into its own kind of cable network one day, anyways, that I was fine without cable. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine putting Ipsy on hold because I have other boxes. This is 2023. It is my no buy year where I'm buying no makeup for 2023. So I'm allowed to buy stuff with gift cards or I'm allowed to accept gifts. Anyways, my husband is the gift giver <laughs> and he bought me the ColourPop Cosmetics $50, I think it was $49 summer mystery box. I, I'll get emails from these brands and they send me things and when I want them, I just forward them to him and I'm like, hey, you know, I'd like this. You don't have to get it for me, but here. And it's just like ideas, you know, he, to keep his brain churning. Plus my birthday's coming up just to keep things swirling through his brain for ideas to get me for my birthday. I think it's probably been a lot easier for him this year because usually, or in the years past, with my shopaholic problem, I just bought everything. So he never knew what to get me because I always bought myself everything. So now he knows what to get me. Anyways, I have the ice cream beauty bag, the ice cream beauty box, and I have the ColourPop mystery box, the summer one. Yay! So if that sounds interesting to you, here you are. <laughs> this is a good video for you to watch because I'm gonna open those. And I have a fresh face. I have no makeup on, none whatsoever. I have SPF on and that's it. So I'm going to hopefully get makeup in these boxes and and the ice cream makeup boxes are notorious for having makeup and so, and the ColourPop also. So I'm going to put makeup on my face at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Yay! All right, let's start with the bag, the ice cream beauty bag because it's the smallest. It is a 12, I think it's $12.50 a month, but it's so funny because the ice cream beauty box is $25, the ice cream beauty, and no shipping. The ice cream beauty bag is $12.50 plus shipping. It's weird. Uh, and I thought maybe getting both of them together that it would just combine and I wouldn't get shipping. No, I still get shipping. So anyways, I'm contemplating um, getting rid of the ice cream beauty bag and we'll go into that when I show you what I got. It comes in a little bag, just like this. The other side has my address on it. You just open it up and makeup, boom. It's nothing fancy, but I kind of like that. They're not spending like, Ipsy will, you know, put extra money towards like bags and stuff, and that isn't going towards your supplies. So I've only gotten, this is my second ice cream beauty bag. And I took a peek in here, so I know what's in here. And I find that the ice cream beauty box, which is $25, has, it has five to seven items. And it has like really good, like, either kind of high-end slash indie brand items, which are very interesting to me. Whereas this beauty bag is less money, so they're trying to make it less money, but still have a lot of items in there. And in order to have a lot of items and still have less money, they're like less quality items. And that just doesn't, it's not really my jam. I don't care for drugstore as much or just, I don't know, brands I haven't heard of. I'm, I, I think I might be canceling the ice cream beauty bag because it, I, I, it's only $16.50, but if it's $16.50 that I, of things I don't really want, last bag, I got a palette that I wanted, but everything else I didn't want. And this one, e okay, let me show you. So we have Rush. It is from Pears Tools. It's a brand I've never heard of. 
And brushes, I, you know what? I, I don't mind brushes. I, brushes are great. Um, I'm never one who's really like, oh, that's a good brush or a bad brush. I, eh. <laughs> a brush is a brush is a brush. It looks interesting. It has like, it's kind of like a chubby little, I would say like a foundation brush. Actually, they do put a card in here telling you what it is. It's a round buffer brush. It is $9. Great. I never get really excited about brushes. Brushes are fine. They're good things to have because you use them and you don't use them up, but they're just kind of mad, man. Okay, the next thing is this from Bella Pierre. And look at this, this is a nice little kit here. We have four things in here. So the brush plus these four things, plus there is a palette that I'm about to show you. That's six things for $16.50. That's a good value. But are these six things things that I really care, really I'm gonna use? Okay, so this Bella Pierre, oh, lip kit set is $50. So it's, it's actually, that's got a pretty good value on it. But it, it just seems kind of drugstore. It seems kind of cheapy. Um, it is red, which I do really love a red lipstick. Okay, we have a tinted lip balm, we have a matte lipstick, we have a gloss, a red gloss, and a lip pencil. So it is a, it's an all-in-one for a, a red lip. I am on the fence about that. I do, I have, I do wear, really like wearing red lipstick, but I have like my tried and true red lipsticks because when you put on red, you need it to stay in place or it gets all over the face, and I don't like that. So I am hesitant to to try out different red lipsticks because usually when I wear red, I'm like on a date or I'm at an event or something and I, you don't want red all over your face I want at something like that. It's not usually just me at my house. Okay, last thing. This is from Ocalon. It is the Rose Pink Palette. Okay, this looks, let me, you know what? Let me get, let me get the palette. I have the palette. This, this looks exactly like, let me get it. Did I say Rose Pink? This is Pink Rose. You're really good at life, Bianca. It is basically, the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. Like, they even copied the exact, like, front of it. Okay, I know there are brands that dupe palettes. I actually usually don't get anything from them because I guess I'd rather just get it from the source because I feel like the quality will be better. And then if I got it from the source, I wouldn't get it from the dupe brand because then I'd have two that look exactly the same. So what is one of those brands? Alter Ego, I looked it up. Alter Ego is a brand that I knew does like dupes. And they just recently like came out with a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And, but the thing about it is they dupe the shadows perfectly, but they come up with a new outside packaging. This one is a little bit like sus. <laughs> Can I say that? Can I say that word? Or is it not cool anymore? Um, Cause it's exactly, they're exactly trying to dupe it. And I feel like that's a little lame because I mean, not that Huda Beauty is not doing well. You know, that one's the Huda Beauty one. Like Huda Beauty isn't, is thriving and is, is okay with a little competition. Okay, so here is the Ocalon. I didn't know, I'm saying a lot of things. So what I'm trying to say is Ocalon is a brand that I have seen in this beauty box, this ice cream beauty box before, but I didn't know it was a dupe palette brand. So here we go. Which one's which? It, it's it's very good. Like which one is which? It even has like the weird shimmery shadow, the weird one that people call a petri dish. So that one's a petri dish one. This one's the petri dish one. You might be able to tell because you can tell this one's a little a little bit more used. Like I have fingerprints in it. Only a little bit more because I have too many palettes. But this is the dupe. This is the Huda Beauty. So this is a sixty nine dollar palette. This right here from Ocalon is a $20 palette. And I think the Alter Ego are also about $20. So I don't know, I don't know. I haven't tried it out. I, I feel like I don't need to. And so I feel like I'm going to give, put this one in a giveaway or give it to a friend or something, some sort of something. One day I'm gonna start a Poshmark when I have time and who knows? It will, I don't think it is gonna stay in my collection. So, and then this. This seems like a really good gift. Do you know what I mean? Like something I could give to maybe like a teenager or give to 
a friend who likes makeup or something like that. This seems like it's already packaged as a gift. So these two things, I think I'm going to give to people or sell on my Poshmark one day when I have one. I'm going, I don't, you know, I'm not excited about them. So that leaves the brush, which it's a brush. I'll keep it because I have brushes and I like brushes, but it's just a brush. So I paid $16.50 and we have $9 of what I'm keeping. So why I was saying that I think I'm going to cancel the Ice Cream Beauty bag is that, that. Now, I was saying this to my husband. I was like, I think I'm going to cancel Ice Cream Beauty bag. He goes, what? You love Ice Cream Beauty. And I go, yes, I do love Ice Cream Beauty box. So I talked about the bad. Let's talk about the good. Ice Cream Beauty box. This is the box. This is like, this is my new favorite subscription. I am so thrilled with this subscription. It has blown my socks off. It is so amazing. So to have the box be so good and the bag be so mediocre is so interesting. Anyways, I'm definitely keeping the box because I just, I love it. It's amazing. Okay, the first thing on top, and see, everything's packaged really well. It, not only does it have these packing peanuts, but it also is packaged in bubble wrap because they don't want, they don't want you to have things get broken. Oh yeah, I actually had two broken products last time and I reached out to Ice Cream Beauty and they never reached back out to me. Huh, because somebody on my video was like, hey, I reached out to them and they replaced this stuff. I did, I reached out to them and they never got, reached out back to me. Well, say lobby. So anyways, we have this from Delancey and Ice Cream Beauty will do spoilers. So they do one spoiler on the bag and like three spoilers on the box. So this is something I knew I was getting because I got an email about it. It is a multi-chrome eyeshadow palette. Did I already open this and swatch it on my hand because I was so excited about it? Yes, I did. It's so purple looking, but it's so funny because one of these is very like green. Uh, let's let's swatch it right now. Okay, I don't know what they used to package this with. It is. I'm like afraid I'm gonna either break it or break a nail trying to open it. <laughs> okay, I got it. I used like my eyeshadow depotting tool. <laughs> I use that thing for everything. Those are the colors. See, this one is so green. If you see dead flaky skin on my hand, that is accurate. I got back from Hawaii and all of my skin is flaking off. <laughs> so if you see flaky skin, that is accurate. I have been putting so much lotion on and it just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. These are those beautiful, if they say multi-chrome, I would, I don't know. I don't know how you justify multi-chrome because it has to flash between like multiple colors. And I feel like, like yellow to pink, like this one's purple to green. These just seem like pink. I, pink and purple. I don't see extra multis in that one. Actually, okay. I'm looking it on, on my skin and the purple one does actually flash kind of green as well. But the pink one, this one is, is just pink. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, but are they stunning? Yeah, they are. They're beautiful. Okay, so I'm very, very excited about that. It's a four pan palette. That is $25. One of my favorite indie brands, Blend Bunny Cosmetics, came out with a four pan multi-chrome palette and it was like $70. I didn't get it because I'm in a no-buy, but also I don't think I would have got it because I it was really expensive. And if you think about it, their multi-chromes can be very expensive. It's that pigment in there, that the multi-chrome pigment, pigment that is very expensive. So the fact that this is only $25, makes sense that they aren't as multi-chromatic as I as some other ones because they're probably they're probably not putting as much of the multi-chrome pigment into them. Anyways, they're still beautiful. Still still gorgeous. It's funny because looking at looking at this and looking at this, I wouldn't have thought that these are the same swatches. <laughs> I, I guess it's just the first two. The bottom two look accurate, but the first two are like yellow and green and they look like silver and pink here. Then I got from Chantico Beauty, and this is a brand that I have seen in my last like three ice cream beauty boxes. This is a very 
like they are working with Chantico. It must be like, hey, can we work with you? Yes, please. Anyways, I already got one of these. These are the duochrome liquid eyeshadows. I got one of them in one of my other boxes and um, it's okay. Let me, I have it right here. Boop, let me show you. It's right here. It, this one is nice because I do, I do like a, a bright, like for an inner corner. So this one is really pretty. It wasn't anything to write home about. So the fact that we got two more is exciting, but it's not, uh, they, they came out, the Chantico came out with these powdered pigments that were much better than these li liquid pigments and in one of the other boxes. Okay, so this one is in the shade. Do you have a shade, my friend? These duo chromes are $38 a piece, these liquid ones. That is, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't pay $38. Um, they don't have a name. I can't, I can't find a name. It has a number on it. I can tell you the number. <laughs> oh, and when you close them, it's hashtag 2734Y. I wonder why they don't have a name. There is that one, the, the nameless one. Okay, so it's kind of um, orangey, and then it also flashes. I can't, sh like, in my eyes it flashes pink, but it is kind of blue here. Interesting. Okay, here, let's show you the last one. The all It also does not have a color or a name. Let's put it here. Oh, Bianca, you're just swatching everywhere, aren't we? Okay, so this one, this is not my greatest place to swatch. This one is more like coppery toned, more fall, I would say. Uh, yeah, so it is like pink to orange to gold. They're both really pretty. I do like a good liquid eyeshadow. Great, thank you, those are $38 a piece. Then let's grab what else is in this box. So if right now we have three things and we're still going. We have from Kveen. It's Q-V-E-E-N, Kveen. This is a highlighter in the shade Ice Cream, like actual ice cream, not eye cream, like the box. Mm. There it is. It's a nice shimmery champagne highlight. I'm not the biggest fan of cream highlights. I just don't like how they look. I feel like they sometimes disturb my makeup underneath, but if we don't have another highlight, we might be putting this one on my face today. So let's see if it does disturb my foundation underneath. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. Ofra is, I wanna, like, I don't know, my top, top 10 favorite brands. This is the long lasting liquid lipstick. It is in the shade. Hot Mama Mess, which Hot Mama, this is Hot Mama Mess, she's a, a YouTuber, and she collabed with Ofra to create this, this lipstick. So that is really awesome that they included this in the packaging so that they could get this YouTuber's name out there even more. Hot Mess Mama, that's it. So this is called Hot Mess Mama. Hot Mess Mama, and that's her name, Hot Mess Mama. As a YouTube influencer who has three channels dedicated to beauty, vlogging, and cooking. I only am subscribed to her beauty one. Anyways, pretty lipstick. I will probably be wearing that one as opposed to the red one because I was talking about how I want to get to that one. Okay, last but not least, what did we get? We got another palette. This is from Ocalon again, and it's another dupe palette. This, okay, I'm a little tiny itsy bits more excited about this one. This, because it is duping Huda Beauty again, but it is duping the only Huda Beauty palette that I want and don't have. Huda Naughty Nudes palette. Okay, that's, I, it'd be better if I had the palette, but it's to show you the, the contrast, but it's actually better for me that I don't have it. Okay, so Huda Beauty Naughty Nudes, Ocalon Ethereal palette. Same thing. So I think it's good that at least like one of the palettes I got that was a dupe palette is one that I don't have. I actually, this Naughty Nudes one went on sale on Sephora for half off. And I thought about getting it because I had a gift card. I saved them. I hoard them like a little dragon hoarding my treasure. Anyways, I have, like I think I have like a $35 gift card right now just sitting in the wings. And 
I thought about it. I thought about getting it and waiting and, and getting, getting that palette. And then I was like, this is why I'm doing the no by ear because it's teaching me things. And I was like, Bianca, do you need it? You have, I, I, okay. I did an eyeshadow palette declutter. The sound was terrible. So I had to scrap it. So I'm going to do another one, but I found out I have hundreds of eyeshadow palettes. So do you need another eyeshadow palette? I said, no. And I didn't buy it. So now I was able, I'm glad I did that because now I was able to get this one that, which is a dupe of it and not have the other one. And I can try this out and see if the formula, cause I don't have the nine nudes, but I do have Huda Beauty one. So I can see if the formula is good. I think it, it worked out. It worked out for the best. That's so weird. The ethereal palette, this one is 19 and the pink rose one is 20. I think it's because the packaging, like this one has the plastic packaging that the rose quartz one has. And this one is cardboard. Interesting. So a dollar more for plastic packaging. That is everything that I got in that box. And let me, it was, it was a lot, six items. So they guarantee five to seven items and I got six items. And one is from a mainstream brand, the o Ofra, which I know. Two, Chantico and Delancey are, I, I guess like, I know Chantico is like a, an indie brand, but Delancey I'm assuming is because of the multichromes and I feel like, I feel like indie brands do multichromes. So I got multichromes, which I'm always really excited about. The Ethereal palette, I'm, <sighs> I, I did find a way to be like, I, I'm like happy about it. I am. So this box I am happy about overall. Let's add up the value, especially if it has this card. I'll also put it in my description box, but I have it right here. So the ice cream beauty box is $158. That's how much it is worth. I paid 25, no shipping, no taxes, 25. So I got six times what I paid for the value. So. The Ice Cream Beauty box is 100% worth it. I'm very, very happy. I'm not gonna be canceling it. I love it, I'm happy. Okay, let me tell you the value of the bag. 79, $79. I paid 16.50, so divided by 16.50, 4.78 repeated. So five, five times the value. So the box is worth more. It's like six times the value. This one is five times the value. Interesting, interesting. So you are paying less, but you're getting less value and you're getting less quality in my opinion too so i'm going to cancel the ice cream beauty bag i think i want to get the slay glam beauty box bag whatever it is let's go to the color pop mystery box and then we'll put makeup on my face okay here is the color pop mystery box it says it is 49 dollars, and it should have a value of over 121 dollars okay so that doubles your value. So again, the ice cream beauty box is still better because it six tuples, <laughs> it multiplies it times six, your value. But you know that you're getting ColourPop here. If you like ColourPop the brand, mystery boxes are good because you're like, I'm getting all their ColourPop. With the ice cream, I didn't know what brand I was getting. I had to, you know, you just give them your money and they curate the bundle out of that. So I, I like ColourPop. I don't love P ColourPop. I like some of their products. I don't like other products. So it's kind of a mixed bag, which is kind of what mystery boxes are. Anyways, let's see. Um, watching Allie Dawson, she opened up her mystery bag box and she does um, the ColourPop mystery boxes a lot of the time. And she will come up with like the prices afterwards and, and she'll be like, oh yeah. So it says it's a $121 value, but that's like, full price things because things on ColourPop go on sale because the way the warehouse works in ColourPop is that they have, they have a very big turnover. Like they, they make something and they sell it and then they make more and then they sell it. And like <laughs> they don't keep inventory. And so if they have too much inventory, they put it on sale to get it out of their warehouse so they can make more. And because they have such, they have new things coming out every single week. And so they need storage. They need room in their warehouse. Is this $121 value? Probably based on the full price, the retail value, but based on like the sale prices, I doubt it. So I guess I will put the prices in my description box and you can see what the retail value is. 
if it really was $121. Okay, let's bust into this and stop talking. The first thing, I got some jewels. These are hit or miss. Uh, I do enjoy wearing jewels like when I'm doing like a Halloween makeup look or a fun like I don't know, a fun makeup look. Uh, I do love to wear makeup and I love to wear fun makeup looks. I just went on the glow run on Saturday and these would have been really fun for that. I didn't wear any though. Anyways, so when I'm doing like really fun things, but most of the time I'm either going to work, I'm so I put on makeup for work, I put on makeup for going doing these videos, or I put on makeup because I have a lot of makeup and I wanna wear makeup. So this is not, I guess this would be for one of those like I'm putting on makeup because I want to wear makeup or when I'm doing a fun look but yeah anyways is this the greatest thing in the world I'm 37 years old so kind of <laughs> I do I can have fun with them but it's I think I would have had more fun with them in my 20s anyways all right next what did I get this is from soul body which is like ColourPop is like the main mama daddy and then the baby is soul soul body I think what do I know about ColourPop not much but this is a body blending sponge okay it's nice to get something that I don't already own but technically do I not already own it because I don't need it <laughs> usually what the things that I own I own because I, I want them and need them I don't own something because I've never felt the need to have it it's it's interesting so I do use self tanner I do sometimes use like a glitter a body glitter so and I did get a Fenty like body glitter that I feel like this will do really well with so do I not did I not have one before because I couldn't find a purpose for it correct but can I can I find a purpose for this yes I wonder I wonder if it's like a normal sponge where you know a, a beauty sponge where you're supposed to wet it first I'm sh yeah probably it probably says how to use it wet Read instructions, Bianca. Wet beauty sponge and squeeze out excess water. Dip sponge into sim shimmering body powder. Okay, it's not a body powder that I have. I don't have a, a shimmering body powder. But I do have a shimmering body oil. It'll be the same, right? Anyways, whatever. I can find a use for it. So, then, ColourPop falsies. Okay. I have worn false eyelashes two times in my life. And I took them off after like an hour slash before the event that I was going to because I was like, okay, they were both magnetic eyelashes. So I think I'm, because everybody says, magnetic, if you're not good at eyelashes, you should do magnetic because you just put on the eyeliner and then boom, it sticks to the eyeliner. I, I got, and I, I got, a, I got Glamnetic ones. I got them from FabFitFun. So I'm like, it's not the brand. Glamnetic is a nice brand. So it wasn't like I got crappy cheap ones I got a nice brand I just it didn't work out it didn't work out for me I couldn't get them to stay it was okay so and then I tried to trim them but then I was trimming off a magnet it was a whole ordeal so these are really 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 big okay cool cool which I feel like if I'm going to wear eyelashes I want them to be bold because like what's the point if you're gonna wear eyelashes why wear a subtle eyelash because then it's like I'm just wearing mascara. No, I, I actually put the time on to put glue on my eyelashes and put on eyelashes so that they just looks like mascara. Then again, what do I know about eyelashes? Very little. So I feel like if I were to wear eyelashes, it would be big ones like this. Not too, okay. I feel like there's a happy medium because <laughs> like not like crazy ones. Like I'm like, I can't even lift my eyes, but not, okay. And I feel like this is, a, <laughs> is this a happy medium? Maybe it's a little on the more dramatic side, but. Maybe one day, maybe one day. I thought I would never do shorts or reels and I went to Hawaii and I went to the go run and I finally dipped my toe in and made some shorts and reels. So never say never. There's a huge stack here. There's one, two, three, four, five, five lip things, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip colors of some sorts. Okay. So I have found out recently that ColourPop redid some of their lipsticks. So they're trying to get rid of the old ones. And that makes sense, but it's also like five lipsticks, really, in one package? I don't need five new lipsticks. I don't, It's that's overkill here. So this is a um, So Glossy. It is a lip gloss, and it is in the color, that is hard to read because it is shiny, Newport. 
but it looks kind of brownie. Then we have a Lux liquid lipstick in the color Dance Off. It's a velvet. I'm not a huge fan of velvet. They get everywhere. Okay, cool. Then this one is the Fresh Kiss. It is a glossy lip stain in the color, and I opened this one, you can kind of tell. Sugar Snap, cool, so I'll probably keep that one. If I open it, I'm gonna keep it. Anyways, um, this one is, so I got, I got three of the Lux Liquid Lipstick Velvets. And I think I probably will put all three of these into a giveaway. I don't like velvet lipstick. If I am going to wear a lipstick, not a liquid lipstick, it is going to be a matte. So all three of these are going to go into a giveaway, which is okay. I mean, hopefully everything in here will add up to over $50 that my husband spent so that it will be okay that I'm like not going to keep these. Although I do like giving away my collection. I really do. I, especially things that I declutter when I give them to like my sisters or my friends, I will think about it later and I'll be like, oh yeah, I want that. I want to get that out of my declutter and keep it. And I gave it away and I'm like, oh good, Bianca. Stop hoarding. Stop hoarding your makeup. Give it away. So it's really good when I can give things away. So these are, I don't want these. I don't want these. Anyways, these two I will probably keep. We have a lip stain and a lip gloss. Neither of them, all five of them are not a lip, a matte, which is my preferred method. So it's interesting that none of them were matte but uh, I'm not gonna swatch them because I'm going to give them away. I put them in a giveaway. I'll put them on my Poshmark. I don't know, probably a giveaway because Poshmark, they're not, I don't think they're for sale on, or they're probably super on sale on ColourPop. And so they wouldn't sell for very much on ColourPop and all the effort to like take the pictures and do the listing and all the packing materials to put them on a Poshmark, that's just not worth it. They'll probably just go on a giveaway. Anywho, I'm, I will probably keep these two. So should I swatch them? Why not? Let's do it. Glossy Lip Stain in the shade color Sugar Snap. Nice. Just brown. I feel like it's a very fall color for me. Then we have the lip gloss. Oh, do I want to keep a lip gloss? Actually, I might not. I might not. I feel like, okay, okay. Are these, yeah, I just made that decision. Are these the exact same thing? I don't need both of them. Like they're the exact same. One's a stain and one's a gloss. Yeah. Uh, okay. I have to put them in the right box. Okay. I'm not going to swatch the stain, the gloss. This is the so glossy. Let's just, we'll put that in a giveaway also. Bye. Two pencil like things. Okay. This, they are obviously, oh, I was going to say both from ColourPop. Duh. One is a liquid liner. It is in the shade Make Love. And it's yellow. It's like a, that is a sunflower yellow. Interesting. Okay, cool. When I wear a liquid liner, I usually wear black, like a dark color, black or like violet or like cobalt blue or brown. I don't usually wear, let's see what color this, this guy is. I don't usually wear that. So I'm finding that this box is probably stuff that wasn't selling well on ColourPop. And they were like, hey, it's not selling well or it's on sale. Boom, 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 boom. Sell it for $49. Get it out of here. You know, in my last mystery box I did from Odin's Eye was kind of the same way. Maybe I should stop getting mystery boxes. I am learning a lot on this no-buy journey. Even though technically I didn't buy those. Those my husband, my husband bought both of them for me. So maybe I should stop sending him the emails being like, here's a mystery box. Buy it for me if you want to. Because they are not turning out great. Okay, cool. This one is the cream gel liner. Okay, so I when I do a cream gel, I usually do it in my waterline. So I want it to be kind of a lightish color, and it is. It is in the color Wildcat. They're both kind of similar, you know, goldy colors, I would say. In the same color family, gold and marigold. <laughs> So there we go. That is fun. I think that would be a fun waterline color because it would be shiny and shimmery. It would have to go with the right look, but I think I can make it work. So I'm actually kind of, I'm interested with this one. I'm excited about that one. I don't know. This one is a stain. So did it stain? Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of stain. Not really like I've had better stains, but I've also have worse stains. Okay. 
Last but not least, the last thing in this box is a palette. And this is, I don't have, or I didn't have until now, I didn't have any of ColourPop's big palettes. I only had like their 12 set pan or their 16 pan Play It Jewel palette. It's gorgeous. These are my two favorite colors, green and purple. Although one, I love to wear in my eyes and one I hate to wear in my eyes. Green, I hate to wear in my eyes. Purple, I love to wear in my eyes. But look at that. That was not what I was expecting. But I do actually really like it. I was expecting it to look like this. It doesn't look like that. It, I mean, they, we do have some green and some purple, but we have like other, you know, yellow and blue and red. Like we have kind of a duochrome here. I do, I really like this. This is really nice. How many shades do we have? 30 shades. I don't, I've never had a 30 shade ColourPop palette. Okay, so I feel like this is, this is the winner in the box. This is the big ticket item. Normally they would give you a couple small palettes and then a palette, like a 16 pan palette. So they didn't give it, this is the only eyeshadow palette that is in this whole box, which is interesting. Okay, how many actual items did I get in this box? I got 11 items for $50. It's not bad. It's about five-ish dollars an item. So it's not bad. Is it great? No. I am learning though that I probably, I, I will ask for less mystery boxes. Also, I have some things that I can put in a giveaway, so that's nice. Anyways, all right, let's put some of this on my face. What do you guys think? I have foundation, bronzer, eyebrows on, which is a weird, odd combination, but it's what's happening. Oh, I also used uh, the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. Anyways, we are going to, I believe this, I think this is, the combination we should go with here or it's what I'm gonna go with so the ethereal palette I just I think it would be fun to try out and see if this palette is any good mm -hmm. yeah cool I've been really into halo eyes lately so we're gonna go with a halo eye why I don't know I feel like there's so many like transition shades there's a lot of like taupey neutral browns like this one this one this one this one this one do we need all of those? They're probably in the Naughty Nudes palette, but do, they are different colors, but this one and this one are so, do we need all of those? Do I need all of those? No, no I don't. So I'm just using the one called Rough. What does it match with on the Naughty Nudes? I don't know because I don't own it. I don't know if they're in the same order on them. I know that with Alter Ego, they don't put them in the same order, like specifically, just to have like a little tiny bit of difference. Like we all know that they're, they're duping them, but they at least do their own order to the shadows. This might be the exact same order, question mark. I don't know. That had a good amount of pigmentation and blended pretty nicely. So, but there is a ton of kick up on the pan. So, which is, I guess is a, is a, preference you some people love that there's pickup because it means that there's going to be a lot of pigmentation and that it's not going to hard pan and so you're just going to get that color it's going to come it's it it's pick up because it's picking up on your brush you're going to get pigmentation on your brush which is a good thing but it also gets everywhere so i just make sure when that happens i tap off my brush really well so anyways it, it's um I'm not, I'm not upset about it. There is pickup, but I'm okay with it. Fallout, pickup, whatever you call it, it's, it's okay. I'm okay with it. Okay, I could just, honestly, if I were having a really chill day, okay, actually, I was gonna say, if I was gonna have a really chill day, that'd be a nice eye look. Although, if I'm having a really chill day, I don't even put on makeup, so. Anyways, if I'm putting on makeup, I put on makeup. And are you guys like that? I bought Angie Nequis's Singe Beauty Brushes, I broke down. Okay, so my husband was like, you cheated. You bu you broke your no-buy. And I was like, it's no-buy makeup. These are brushes. They're a tool. What do you guys think? Did I cheat? Did I break it? I don't think I did. And it's my rules. And it's my no-buy. So I, pff, I don't think I broke it. <laughs> Anyways, they were, there was a 4th of July sale that made them 20% off. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to get the shade Untamed in her EO4 brush. 
I like it because they have my favorite kind of brushes are these flat like pigment packing brushes so she has kind of two of them so I like I like that I really like two of them so far her other ones are kind of blending brushes and I haven't I need to experiment with them more because I have I used one of them and like it's a, a transition kind of all over one brush and I didn't love it so I think I need to maybe watch her video using them you know I am not an expert by any means and she more is I don't I don't think she's a makeup artist but you know she created the brushes so she knows how they should be used so I should watch her video I was just gonna put this in the outer corner and inner corner because we were going to do I already forgot what I was doing I'm going to do a halo eye remember Bianca remember you said you were gonna do a halo eye I want to use some of the shimmers because I feel like I need to use a shimmer but I also really want to use these Ooh, this there's like two like tight like zebra stripes zebra, I would say zebra stripes and tiger stripes Maybe just because those are vertical and those are horizontal. I don't know. And I, that's just marble. Anyways, they have really pretty colors. I, I wasn't even looking at them because I was like, what do those do? There are these two. Really pretty. I think, oh, I'm going to go with this one. This Tiger Stripes one. It is passion. It wasn't my first intention, but it is what ended up happening. With glitters, I usually try to, not glitters, with shimmers. I usually end up using my finger because I feel like it packs the pigment the best. Okay, I don't feel like, okay, so here is my first impression of this palette. The mattes were really good. The shimmers are nothing to write home about. Like I'm having to build and build and build and I'm still not getting a lot of pigment. So that is, I mean, I feel like mattes are harder to do than shimmers. So that is my conclusion. The shimmers and this are kind of blah, but the mattes are really nice. I have this Delancey and I have these two. So I kind of want to use this one, right? Yes. Yes. I don't want to use the green one. I want to use the more pink one. So we're going to go with this more pink one. I don't think they have shade. No, they definitely do not have shade names. It looks green. Okay, they both are just kind of green toned. <laughs> the other one is much more green toned. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's actually really pretty. It's a really pretty look. I know. In the very center, I'll use one of the liquids. Yeah? Let's, let's just put it all. Put it all on my face. It'll be awesome. We're gonna use one of the Chantico right in the middle. Did that do anything? I don't know. I don't think that did anything. It's not, it's not a, a bright enough color. Let's blend out a little bit these. I lost some of my, my dark color, my matte. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, then I know, I know everyone, the middle part on the bottom will be with this because look at how great this little applicator is. Done. My finger can never get there and I don't use a brush for glitters. So I always have kind of a conundrum with that area. Boom. I like the eyeshadow. I think it's pretty. Cool. All right, what else are we going to do? Yeah, we're gonna wear this Tower 28 Purple Blush. I was waiting for blush until I knew what color the eyeshadow was going because sometimes I don't match my blush with my eyeshadow very well. It's, I just like to wear fun blush colors and I sometimes look like a clown. And that's just part of life, yay! But since this is kind of a purpley look, I figured I could, I could work a purple blush. Highlighter, so we got a highlighter. This one is the ice cream highlighter from Kaveen, right? That was it, yes? Okay, so we are gonna try some things. I am going to just swipe it on and see what it does. Did it, it did get some of my blush. If, 
I don't know if you can see it, did get some of the blush on the highlighter, meaning it picked up some of the blush, but I just put the blush on. So, I mean, that's expected, I guess. Okay, cool. I just, I don't love cream highlights. I just don't feel like they blend out very well. Okay, my next option is just to take some from here that now has blush all over it. Thank you, Bianca. Good job. Go like that. I do, okay, one thing I do like about cream highlights is that if you are going for a more subtle highlight look, this is how to do it. See <laughs> how subtle that is? I'm trying different ways. Now I put it on my finger and I'm just trying to tap it out now. That's nice. I think that that actually is probably the best way. I feel like it got my brush sticky because it's kind of a sticky, creamy, sticky formula. Let's see, my hair is, hmm, okay. It is a subtle, glowy highlighter. It looks really pretty. It is, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty highlight. I'm gonna give it that. Is it my favorite formula? No, but it is pretty. Okay, so lastly, okay, I forgot to put, uh, no, I didn't forget to put on mascara. I like to put on my eyeshadow, then my mascara because I feel like my eyeshadow, my eyelashes are in the way. And I thought about, I was thinking about putting on my eye, eyelashes. And then I wimped out, so I'm not going to. Okay, cool. We are going to wear from Ofra, the Hot Mess Mama. Mmm, that smells like vanilla. That is basically the shade of my natural lip color. So I guess it's a good nude for me, but kind of what's the point? Hmm. Huh, interesting. Obviously it is good for her because she created it. Okay, mascara is on. So normally I think I'd be done, but I didn't really use any ColourPop. <laughs> And I decided not to wear the falsies because I am a wuss. And so I'm going to need to put on some ColourPop here. Anyways, I didn't wear anything from the other box either, or the bag, but I'm giving all that away. So this is the liner, the cream liner. So I think we'll do what I said I would do. And I'll put it in my waterline. <sighs> that is so pretty. I thought about putting the liquid liner, like in doing a... a a wing? Should we? I don't know. I'm doing another video after this one and I don't want to look like people are like, what? What are you doing? Okay. Sometimes I kind of wish I could get you guys' opinions, but part of me is like, should I do the, the, the gems? Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. This, is this the best thing from the ColourPop box? Anyways. Okay. Should I do the gems? Or should I do a yellow liner? Let's just do both. Let's just do both. Why not? Funsies! In the next video, if I have a fun yellow liner, that's why. Okay. Sometimes I put my finger to settle my, stable myself, but I have my eyeshadow on my finger. It's real fun. It's a, it's a fun game. Sorry if you can't see. I need to be able to see. I can say that I've never worn a yellow liner before. I just wore a white one when I was doing the glow run, but I didn't wear yellow. <gasps> Look how fun that is. What? Okay, the liners are the best part of this uh, ColourPop box. Hmm. Maybe that shows me that I should buy the ColourPop liners and nothing else. One always looks better than the other one. And I feel like it dried out. Like that one looks way better than this one. And then you fix it and fix it and it gets to be huge. Am I right? You're like, when did I make a giant wing? That'll have to be good enough. Can you just get a point? Thank you. Oh, that is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I don't even know how to put these little things on, but I assume you just kind of go like this. <gasps> Am I going anywhere after this? 
No, I'm actually going to edit this video after this. So good times. Good times. Should I only put on one or should we put on two? We should do two. It should match. All right. There we go. I look amazing in my mermaid shirt I, and staying home. I look amazing. <laughs> All right. So if you liked this video, that uh, this monthly unboxing madness, like this video, if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be reminded of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.